Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Front 4x4. So this is going to be another gear review section or segment. Um, and on today's segment, we are reviewing my spotlights. I've had them on for over 12 months now. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'm happy with, a couple of things that I'm not so thrilled about. Uh, but we're going to discuss all that. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready for another gear review. So we're going to start with what they are. These are the Supernova Revenants. Uh, they are a 9-inch light, uh, LED, obviously. These ones have the features of these, are, and if you want to see the installation and the unboxing of these, uh, I'll leave the link to that video in the description below or at the end of the video. So the 9-inch Revenants are IP68. Uh, they throw out about 20,000 lumens per pair. They come with a two-year warranty. Uh, they're cast alloy housing. And when you buy these, or these aren't actually available anymore. Uh, these have been taken off of Supernova's market. Uh, but when you did go to buy these, these came with a wiring harness and they came with a flood cover. They came with flood covers. Two flood covers, obviously one each light. Uh, now they came with that no extra charge. The lights themselves cost $169 from Supernova's website. Uh, no extra shipping costs on top of that either. So 169 was all you paid for two lights, brackets, bolts, wiring kit, flood covers, to your warranty. That's pretty good. That's really reasonable. And I was really happy with that at the time. And I still think that was that was a brilliant price. Supernova have been around since 2015, I think. Um, they do all sorts of different lighting. They do off-road lights, work lights, spotlights, LED lights, um, marine lights. And, and like LED inserts, globes, stuff like that. And they do LED like tail light conversions, stuff like that as well. So they're very thorough in their range uh, and they've got a heap of different lights out there. Now the service that Supernova provides uh, in terms of how good is the service, good, really good. Uh, there was an issue with my Afterpay when I bought these. Uh, a couple of days passed, no shipping notifications. I messaged them. And he got back to me straight away and he said, not gonna lie, there's been a it's been a delay. Afterpay hasn't communicated to us that your order's been put through. Uh, but he got them sent out the next day and he threw me in a free camp light as well, camp work light. Uh, I still use that light to this day, it's, a, it's an awesome light. Uh, wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, it was just a couple of days, hadn't received any notifications, not a big deal. I wait for stuff for weeks sometimes. Um, and they came in a matter of days, uh, really happy with the service that they provide. Another thing that I will note, I did inquire at one point about getting work lights, just for the, for the tray setup uh, and the, the tub rack. Uh, and I asked if they were getting a particular light back in stock. Now he said no. And he said no because he claimed that the quality of the light was subpar to the direction that he wanted his business to go. I think that's a brilliant way to run a business, and I think that just goes to show that these guys were prepared to go the extra mile uh, to provide good service and good quality products, and ensuring that his customers are getting a quality that not only they can have faith in, but a product that he can have faith in as well. So, credit to him for that one. Now quickly, we're going to run through some cons and some pros. Now I want to run through the cons first, and I want to run through the pros last. The cons. The first con. These covers, and they don't look too bad in this lighting, but they went yellow really quickly. The second thing, the bolts have rusted over, and they also did they did also rust over pretty quickly. Uh, it didn't take long for them to start to rust. The second thing was down the bottom of this lens, there was a heap of um, like white powder that had formed or made its way in there. I think it was to do with possibly water getting in and kind of corroding something, or just, I guess it kind of messing with the, with the, I don't know. Now, the pros, are they bright? Yeah, I've been really happy with them. Um, there's really never been a point where I went, I need more light. Uh, they've always had me covered, uh, and I've never felt like I needed something that was brighter. Um, Okay, so to give you guys an idea of how these things actually perform, this is my low beams, these are my high beams, and these are my spotties. Now it's not really coming up on video, and I'm probably not in the best spot because we're on an uphill. I can see at least three to four hundred meters up there. 
you can see, no, you really can't see on the video, but like I said, I've been really happy with these. And if you want more flood, less distance, you can just put the flood covers on. So these things get a massive tick from me. Pro, they're solid. The light's solid, the brackets are solid. I didn't think the covers were solid because the covers used to move, but they have been through, unfortunately, animal strikes. Uh, they have been through mud and they've been through copious amounts of blood. They've been through water. And like I said, the only real issue that I had that may have been related to any of those was possibly the water uh, getting into the, the bottom of the headlight casing, which was a case of me just unbolting it and giving it a quick wipe, bit of a quick clean. And that's pretty well it. And another pro being that they look different. Not many people have them. Uh, you can't buy them anymore, but when these came out, not many people had them. Uh, Supernova weren't a huge company. They didn't have near the following that they do now, which is great to see. But like I said, these lights look different. Not many people had them. I've had quite a few comments saying, what lights do you run? They look really good. Um, haven't seen them before, things like that. And I like the fact that people haven't seen them before, uh, which is why I originally got rid of my King spotties. I got sick of seeing King spotties on everything. For me, these are the front this is the front of my car. These are like the centerpiece to the front of my car. And I wanted something different. I wanted something just that other people didn't have. So I got these and I've been really happy with them. So that brings us to happy. Yes or no? Yeah. Happy. These have been great. Uh, like I said, they've, with, they've withstood animal strikes, copious amounts of mud, water, uh, which is all that you can ask of, of a driving light really. Uh, are they bright? Yes. They've always been bright enough to light up what I need to light up. In terms of spot and flood, they're a good combination. Um, I've got plenty of peripheral view and I've got plenty of, of, of length when I'm driving down the highway. Bang for buck, as I said before, yes, absolutely. So competitors typically set about $150 to $200. Uh, that's kind of like your XTM, Super Center, uh, eBay lights, please don't get eBay lights. Um, bang for buck, these things are brilliant. Uh, and like I said, in terms of performance, I've been really happy with them. I can't fault them at all. It's just a couple of those little um, aesthetic things, I guess, like the light case is yellowing and the bolts rusting over relatively quick. And they were really the biggest issues that I had, as well as fly powder forming. But that took like three minutes to take the cover off and wipe it out and put it back on. So that wasn't really a big deal in my eyes. So where to from now? Um, these lights are actually going to be coming off soon. Uh, I am looking to upgrade into something a little bit smaller. I want to go a 7 inch uh, LED obviously, but I really, I, I guess behind that, I just really want something a little bit more premium, a little bit nicer. Um, am I considering Supernova? Yeah, I've been really happy with these. Uh, why wouldn't I? They have got a couple of great lights. They've got a, they've got like a squarish driving light, which I don't know how it would look on a D22, but uh, it's there and I'm, I'm considering that. They've also got a seven inch round driving light as well uh, that I'm considering. And am I considering other brands? Yes. Um, I don't know what I want to go yet. I'm considering multiple other brands. I'm just tossing up my options now. I'm not rushing into a decision. I just want to take my time, make the right decision and get the right light that I know I'm going to be happy with. All in all, um, I guess I'm kind of reviewing Supernova as much as I am their light, because like I said, you can't buy these anymore. But Supernova, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. Big thumbs up. For what I paid, I got a really great product that I have been really happy with. So I don't know that you can ask too much more. And I know I'm gonna miss these things like crazy in between taking them off and getting new spotties, uh, because on those late night drives, uh, coming home from Brisbane or, or Toowoomba or wherever, uh, Gold Coast. I'm gonna really really miss these. I'm actually gonna hook my, my fog lights up as my primary driving light. And so guys, that's the end of the video. We've got more gear review segments coming up as well. A couple of trips hopefully. Summer's on the way so hopefully we'll be able to go out camping a little more. I'm not a fan of the cold, a bit of a chicken in the cold so I'm very excited for the warm weather to roll around. Uh, hopefully we get to take the boat out soon again as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss any of that. Or well, maybe you do want to miss that. Maybe you hate my channel but subscribe anyway. So don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can keep up to date on all of that. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.